Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the VLOOKUP in Excel. And basically, this formula is used to look up the values of some relevant data. So for example, if you have some data and there is something related to this data that you have located somewhere else, you can use the VLOOKUP to bring these data together at the same place. And I'm going to explain here with an example how to do that. So in this example, I have here a schedule of doors that shows me what is the door reference. So I have 10 types of doors, let's say, and each door has a width and the height, area, location, and special type of finish and number of shutters. And in some other sheet, I have here some walls that I want to deduct these doors from. So as you can see here, I have the door number two and the door number three, and I just need to look up the width and the height of these doors. I don't just want to go insert these two values here manually. No, I want to look them up from this schedule. So for example, here is D2. I can simply copy that and go paste it there, but this is not what I want to do. I want to use the VLOOKUP to bring these two numbers there in the other sheet here in these two locations. So how to do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press here equal to and I'll write VLOOKUP and as you can see here, I, I just wrote VLO and as you can see, I can just VLOOKUP here. I'll just double click that. And once I've done that, it will ask me here, as you can see VLOOKUP, there are four things that I need to fill in order to get this done. So VLOOKUP, first thing is the lookup value. What is the lookup value? In this case, the lookup value is D2. So I want the VLOOKUP or I want the Excel to look up the D2 somewhere else and bring me the other value related to the D2. So the first part here is the lookup value and I have chosen B7, which is this D2. Then as you can see, there is a small comma here. So I'm going to put comma. The second thing is the table array. So for the table array, now I need to specify where the data is located. So in my case, they are located in sheet two. So I'll go to sheet number two and I'll mark this schedule full as you can see. The third part here, I will just go here. Now I have done the first part, which is the lookup value as you can see. And then I have specified the table array from where I'm going to be looking up the value. The third part here, again, I need to put another comma after you can see table array, comma. So I'll just put this comma here. And then I have the third criteria here or the third requirement here, which is the column index. And as you can see, this is column number one in the data that I have selected. And this is column number two. This is column number three. This is column number four and so on. So this is five, this is six, and this is seven. So I want now to specify the column index number and here I want the width. So I am looking for some data that are located in column number two. So here I'll just write two, column number two. The data that I need is located in column number two. Then if you see here, there is a comma after the column index number. So I'll put the comma. And the last part is true or false. Do you need an exact match or approximate match? I usually prefer to go for false, which is exact match, because I want to look up exactly D02. If it is D2 only, I don't want that. I want D02, and this is where I need the exact match. So all I have to do is to just write false here, as you can see, and then close the bracket. So now you have your formula, you just press enter. So as you can see here, next to D2, we have our width, which is 0.9. Now, if I copy this formula and I paste it here as a formula, what will happen? It will tell me not applicable or something is wrong. Why? I'll tell you why. If you double click this, you will see that the lookup value is you are now because you have shifted from this cell to this cell or you have copied from this cell to this cell. So the value that you are trying to look up is here. But actually, I'm trying to look up the D2, not the number. So in that case, before you copy or before you do anything, you double click here. And the first part you want to do is that this column B, you want to have it fixed. And how to do that? You will mark it like this and you press F4 from the keyboard. So you will have two dollar signs. Then again, press F4. Then the dollar sign is coming to the seven, which is the row, which is what I don't want. I want to fix the column, which is B. So one more time, F4. 
four. So now I have dollar sign column B, which means if I copy and I copy to the right side or to the left side, still I'll be looking up the column B only and it will not move. So this is the first part of it. Second part, if you remember the table array, the table array is this one. So for the table array also, I want it to be fixed. I want the same exact schedule that I have selected from sheet number two, which is starting from cell B2 up to cell number H13. So here I want to fix both the column and the row. And for the H13, I want to do the same thing, both column and row. So if I copy my formula and paste it anywhere, still I'll be looking only into the table array, which is from B2 up to H13. Then I'll press enter. So still same, but when I copy this now and paste it here, still I'm getting the same exact thing. Why? Because of that column index. Because as we said, this will be column number two and this will be column number three. And when I go back to sheet one here, the height and the height, I want column number three, not column number two. But because I have copied this exact formula, which is having column number two here, so I am still getting column number two here. So all I have to do in this cell is to just change the column index. Instead of two, I'll put three and I'll press enter. So what happens now, as you can see, I just looked up these two values related to door number D2 from this sheet. And as you can see here for door reference D2, 0.9 into 2.4, this is the exact same thing that came here, 0.9 into 2.4. So if I copy this and I paste it here and everywhere else, you see, for whatever type of door, like for example, D6, 1.1 into 2.4, you see, I didn't put it manually. It's here, D6, 1.1 into 2.4 and so on. Let's say now that we want to put here in this cell, the number of shutters related to each door, or let's say the location of each door. So what I want to do, I'll copy this formula and I'll, I'll, put, I'll paste it here as a formula. So paste formula here. And if I need the location, for example, what is the column index of the location? One, two, three, four, five. So I'll go back and here I'll change the column index instead of three, I'll put it five. So I brought myself the location here and I can generalize or paste the same formula for all the doors. So now what is happening? The formula is looking up this value and bringing you this value here. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can share the video with your friends or anyone who would care about this content. And thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video.